format is the most commonly used format in the social sciences, but it is popular in many other disciplines as well. Professors, researchers, and students rely on the conventions of APA style in order to identify relevant articles and papers. One way that you can tell readers that your paper is in accordance with the standards of the discipline is by using APA format for the cover page and abstract. This video will show you how to use Microsoft Word to format these parts of your paper. Although this tutorial uses the 2010 version of Microsoft Word, you should be able to make minor adjustments depending on the particular version you're using. Before you begin, you should make sure that you're using standard 8.5 by 11 paper and that your margins are set to 1 inch all around. This should be the default setting for Microsoft Word, so you shouldn't have to change anything. Next, you'll want to change your font to Times New Roman and the size to 12. In order to clear the default formatting, select No Spacing in the Styles panel, and then select Double Spacing in the Paragraph panel. The title of your paper should be in the top portion of the page, so press Return five times and then center the cursor. Type your title and subtitle if you have one. It's generally best to put your subtitle on a new line. There's no need to use special formatting like bolding, underlining, or italics. Titles should not be more than 50 words long, so try to keep yours concise. Next, write your name on a new line. Finally, you'll want to include your home university on a new line. We're almost done with the first page, but we need to include some information in the header. Double click on the very top part of your paper to view the header. Since the first page of your paper will be slightly different than the rest of the document, select Different First Page in the Options panel. The cursor should be on the left-hand side of the page. If it isn't, click there and enter the words Running Head in Sentence Case followed by a colon. Be sure that the font and size of the text is the same as the rest of the document. Then type your title or shortened form of your title in all caps. Finally, press tab twice so that your cursor is on the right hand side of the page. In the header and footer panel, click on page number and then select position. You'll want to select the plain number option. Now that you've completed the cover page, it's time to format the abstract page. Place your cursor below the main text on the cover page and click the Insert tab. Then click Page Break in the Pages panel. This will bring you to a new page. You'll need to include some information in the header, so double click on the top of the second page. First, make sure to change the font to Times New Roman and the size to 12. Click on the Design tab to see the header options. Write your title or shortened form of your title in all caps. Then press Tab until your cursor is on the right side of the page. In the header and footer panel, select page number, then current position, then plain number. Then double click within the main document to exit the header view. With the cursor centered, write the word abstract. 
press return and select the left justify option. Then write a brief description of your paper in a paragraph of between 150 and 250 words. We'll just use placeholder text. Finally, you'll want to include keywords below the abstract. Indent the text one tab space. Then write keywords in italics followed by a colon. Turn off the italics and include some keywords in lowercase that identify the main topics of your paper. After you insert a new page break, you'll be ready to start writing your paper. Following these simple rules will help you submit your APA style paper with confidence.